You know, nobody really likes a Monday morning quarterback, right? But the truth is, is when you see a problem, right, you should have a solution on how to fix it. It's kind of an important fucking thing when it really comes down to it. It's something that's highly important. So let's talk about what's going on with social media, right? Because I've been saying this for a while, and I know, like, everybody thinks, you know what I'm saying, that uh, they have this solution when it comes to publisher or fucking, you know, whether they're a curator or whatever the case might be, right? The truth of the matter is, all right, is that the problem isn't the fact of whether or not they're a publisher or curator, whether they're this or they're that, you know, whatever the case might be, right? What it really is, is that they're actually not charging you, right? And this is really the problem when it comes down to it. It's the fact that it's free. So the fact that it's freed, and that, this is important shit here, means that you can't sue them when they fuck up, right? And that's that's the real problem, all right? Because if they offer you a service for free and you're not paying for it, that means you're not their customer, all right? So like if a roofing company comes over and gives you a free roof, you can't sue them when your roof leaks, right? You can't because, you know, it's a free fucking roof. It didn't cost you shit, right? They did it for free. They may be liable for damages, whatever the case might be. But the truth is, is you know what I mean? If they did it out of charity, it's fucking free. And that's what's going on with these online fucking, these online individuals, right? With these online companies, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all these fucking platforms, right? And I've always said, look, I think it should cost you money to put shit up on the internet, right? I think, I think legitimately you should have to pay for the space that you're using, right? <clears throat> and if you want put in the algorithm, you should have to pay for that too. That way you are YouTube's customer, all right? That way you are Facebook's customer because their customer currently is the advertiser. Let me say that again. The customer currently is the advertiser. It's not the individual looking at the stuff. All right. And that's that's the big problem right now is that you are not the customer. And that needs to change like immediately, like when it really comes down to it. All right. Because with all this bullshit, all right, about, you know what I'm saying, fucking Hunter Biden standing here, you know, using his dad, you know, because, like, they came out with these uh, emails from, you know, Hunter Biden and shit about his pops sitting here, which, by the way, I can't believe he didn't delete these. Good thing he's a fucking cokehead. <laughs> Legit, his dad standing here, like, pen, like, peddling fucking influence and shit to get his son paid. Which is literally illegal, all right? That's actual fucking bribery when it comes down to it. Like, put nothing misunderstood. That's fucking bribery, all right? Oh, man, listen, look, I'm gonna ads pop up. And this is the shit I'm talking about, legit, right? And I fully believe that we should have to pay for, like, all these news and things. You should have to pay for all this shit, all right? That way, number one, number one, you're the reason they're doing this, not the fucking advertiser. Number two, the other half of it is they're not going to get any fucking love if they don't give you, the customer, what they want, right? Real shit. Number three, online news, especially online when it comes down to like real shit. If you're a small, like this, this should be like, you know, like a small to large type of deal, right? You know, like small people should, you know, whatever, be able to do whatever the fuck you want. Get to a certain point, you should have to start charging people, right? Because you have to be able to grow to get there. Now, places like CNN and MSNBC and fucking M and ABC and Fox, right? They should all have to charge people to use your content online. Real shit. Why? Why do I say this? Because... If you really want their content, you will pay for it. It's that simple. If you really want their shit, you will pay them for it. 
and they will have to produce good news. They can't produce opinions. It's that simple. Now, there's nobody saying like a little, it's, how do I put this, man? The business model that they're working under right now is garbage. All right, legit. It's fucking trash. And so they have to pander very hard to the individuals who sell, who pay for advertising on their shit. Boeing, you know, whoever it might be, fucking, you know, uh, GE, whatever, right? And these individuals, they make bombs and missiles and planes and shit for war, right? These people here are people who advertise on their shit. So they're always going to be pro-war. This is... Never write off, legitimately, never write off to malevolence which you can write off to stupidity and ignorance okay the reasons why they do what they do is because their business models fucked it used to be when everybody had a cable package they got paid really well for cable so they did good news that's the difference right the news was good back then i mean yeah the cia still had their hand in shit but you had journalists doing their fucking jobs right the problem is today is that the journalists aren't doing their jobs because they're not being paid to do their jobs. The vast majority of people who write really good stories have to sell those stories. And they're working freelance, right? Mm. Guys like Glenn, uh, Glenn Greenwald and um, there's a few people out here who still do really good work, right? Um, but they're working fucking freelance when it comes down to it, right? And this is important. It's legitimately, it's a very important thing to understand. Is that they're not standing here doing their fucking shit. Now, after all this shit happens, right? <laughs> the Congress decided, right? That they're going to hold a hearing to subpoena fucking, you know what I mean? Twitter CEO and fucking Facebook in there to find out the fuck is going on, Right? And this is an important thing. Legit, this is something that's really fucking important. And I, I'm not going to stand here and say your First Amendment matters online, but it does, right? It does. Because these are private companies. But the problem is, is that these private companies are giving their shit away for free and selling advertising to you, right? These private companies are selling, av selling news as advertising, selling advertising as news. That's an important thing. There's a lot of these type of stories out here. These are, these are big premises, right, that need to be corrected and need to have a better business model about it, legitimately. The problem is, as I said, is getting people to buy something that you've been giving away for free, right? Like, maybe you should be charging people. Like, I think that if CNN and MSNBC and Fox legitimately became news curators, right? Where they had like a website that was open and it was open source and anybody could stand here and, you know, put up some shit. And I mean, that's a different situation altogether, right? Like if you could put together a news article and put it on CNN against one of their fucking articles and explain that they're wrong about something and have it legitimately like side by side, like here's the fucking, you know, response to this from these individuals. Right. And it's important that you have like you that's how free speech works. All right. I can defeat any argument, any argument, no matter what it is. All right. Like you can give me an argument. I'll fucking defeat your bullshit. Right. Unless you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're right, I'll admit you're right flat out. But any garbage argument like for racism or slavery or fucking royalty or any of these things, they're easy to defeat. Right. They're very simple to defeat. You don't have to stand here and just start screaming conspiracy theorists at somebody or yelling anti-Semite at somebody, whatever the case might be, right? You don't have to do that. You can defeat it in a proper manner that's logical. It's not hard to do. But the thing is, is they'd much rather scream racist because they don't want to do the hard work. And that's the important part of this, right? That is legitimately the important part of this is that... You have to be willing to stand here and make the argument on the other side and do the fucking research. Because if legit, if you have emails and go, this is the emails, here it is. And they go, fuck. He legitimately peddled his fucking influence as a vice president under, under Obama. You, you should have the fucking fortitude to stand up and go, yo, this guy here did this. And it should be everywhere. And then Joe Biden's presidency should be trashed. It is what it is. His bid for presidency should be over at this point. And it is now. You know, I mean, like, yo. 
if you still gonna, if you're still gonna vote for Biden even though he's doing this garbage, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Legit. I still think they're gonna steal the election. I think that's gonna happen with the mail-in votes and people getting five and six fucking ballots and shit and you know the ballot harvesting. I think they're gonna steal the fucking election when it comes down to it. But with that being said. Legally, I think Trump wins the fucking election. Legally. But it's been, yo, it's just, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, yo, look, man. I'm Tom Pease and Pinoy News. You know the deal. Like, share, and subscribe for more content of this nature. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even fucking read the article because I don't fucking care. Legit. You know what I mean? It's not that difficult to understand what happened. Anyway, man, y'all holla at y'all later. Peace.